Dan, um, does this change your mind about uh, Tesla? Because it's not changing some investors' minds. Now, I don't think it does, Neil. Listen, yeah. Tesla was the first one really out of the gate related to EVs. So they're out in front. Elon Musk is, is, if nothing else, extremely innovative. So I think that, you know, as far as the market goes, although it may be softening right now, I still think Tesla is in a pretty good spot related to the, to the EV market. I wonder about the EV market. I mean, with all the power outages and problems we've had and in the California, the brownouts and everything else, maybe we're jumping this too soon. Tesla's not given discounts because they're generous. They're given discounts because they have to. They raise the amount of discounts. And I, I'm a big believer in numbers, Neil. In 90 days, the market cap of Tesla is down $600 billion. Is that right? $600 billion. So the market's speaking to a couple of things. Number one, uh, the Twitter deal. Uh, worried about how much he's time too he's distracted, too right? distracted. Plus, look what's going on with the tweeting and the changing and, and all that. Uh, that. To me, that speaks volumes. And it's a worry some sign going forward if he was smart get a ceo a good ceo in there quick and get back to business and enough of this outside stuff or else uh and you said something about the ev market yeah it's not just tesla i think it's uh slowing up in uh, uh many companies right now and you know all this talk the last few years about flying cars and driverless cars never getting off the ground i just wonder how big some of these markets are going to be going forward you know real quickly on that um the one thing uh, I've learned about covering Elon Musk over the years is never underestimate. You know, I vividly recall when he cashed out at PayPal, right? He got $100 million. Then he was bouncing around this idea of a private space initiative. Everyone laughed at him, much as they did early on in the days at Tesla and said, there's no demand for this. And he's done okay. And I'm just wondering whether the, the, the shorting market on him is overdone. Well, the, the, the fate of all true genius, as you know, Neil, is to be misunderstood. Yes. So I think built that, a career on it. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously that's what's going on with Elon Musk. Everybody thinks he's crazy, but the guy has found a way to be successful over and over again. And as far as the EV market, let's not underestimate what this administration would do to keep that market strong, right? They're looking at getting rid of all these fossil fuels and we want to get rid of cars. What California's doing. People are wising up to that to say it's a little crazy. Oh, but I believe that the federal government will continue to incentivize I people see. to go towards the EV market. I think Elon Musk understands that, that he's in an industry where the federal government is on his side. Maybe not him personally, but the industry itself. Okay, we'll follow that, guys. You're going to be around the next hour. I very much appreciate that.